What's going on, y'all? It's your boy LSR2. If I'm following you, tune in for another one. Make sure you click that subscribe button and click that bell so you don't miss another video. Dropping videos currently five times a week. That mean if I got them, I'm dropping. So make sure that you tune in. Like I said, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you every time one drop, you know what it is. Currently dropping at 4 p.m. Uh, the alternative time is going to be 10 a.m., which we may be switching to in the future. So just make sure you have the notification bell on daily, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., occasionally a live stream here and there. But you'll never miss any of those things if you had a notification bell on. So remember, identify your weaknesses, make it your strength. Life is all about choices, choose wisely, and productivity or procrastination. And remember that the hustle don't stop, the grind don't stop. Don't. Alright guys, we're back. As you can see, we're busting the caliper down. I changed my mind. I'm gonna get into this paint. Let's get into it. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy uh, Shara254, and tune in for another one. Uh, as you can see here, this is the complete assembly. Uh, this one I already have broken down to just the spindle and the hub. I've uh, decided I'm gonna go ahead and paint it. I'm gonna go red, because red adds, adds uh, about five to 10 horsepower of stopping. <laughs> well, no, nah, man, I think it'll just look good. Uh, pull that off, do that. Go ahead and spray these uh, boots. Not the boots. Uh, but yeah, we'll probably put it down flat like that. And then we'll just hit it all the way around and then spray the bracket. Um, and that should take care of that. Uh, I was thinking about possibly doing like a colored combo on the bracket. Uh, maybe going with the aluminum for the brackets and then the red for the calipers. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna see what happens. Red and, red and silver go together, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, since I'm not gonna be able to see the black behind there, so we go black on this, black on this, silver on this, and then red on the caliper. So, I think it should add a nice little touch to it. See the vision? If not, stay tuned. Get everything prepped and we can start spraying. Uh, before we get into that though, man, we got some more goodies from Cortez, man. Got a radiator, uh, got an electric fan, uh, block cover, exhaust for you know, whenever we get a new project, you know what I'm saying? One less thing we got to do, my man, was just clean out the garage, you know, get some, get rid of some extra stuff, man. So I really appreciate uh, him throwing them things my way. Definitely gonna go to great use. Cortez Resto Mods. Uh, make sure y'all check out the channel, man. Uh, a lot of great stuff going on over there. And uh, definitely, definitely, definitely won't be disappointed. So definitely make sure you check out his channel, Cortez Resto Mods. So yeah, these these look like they might be good if I was to have a trifecta, but only time will tell. Only time will tell. It's up on the board. <laughs> Find the LS Broham for the trifecta. Smash that like button. Smash that like button for the trifecta. All right. <clears throat> so as you can see, this is the this is the backing plate that I painted. I uh, went with that aluminum color. So the back and play to go behind here and then like I said we're going to do this bracket the same color as this and then the copper to be red so 
definitely should be interesting. Oh, uh, like I said, I'm not gonna pull the stuff off the off the car yet and upgrade the brakes. I believe it's a decent set of brakes on there right now. So I'm gonna run them down because you can't, I mean, I can't sell my brake bag and my money bag out of it. So get my money's worth out of them. And then uh, we'll turn around and then we'll go ahead and we'll upgrade this, upgrade this after it's all dressed up. But this is all being done in preparation for once that's already done. I'm saying, uh, so yeah, black here, uh, silver on the bracket, and then red on the actual calipers. We should have a nice foam sway because I think red here and red there, that'd be too much red. So that's just a way to kind of break it up. So we get these over to the painting area. Go ahead and get these prepped and then get them ready to go. Alright, so as you can see, first coat has been laid, letting that kind of flash and dry. Uh, over here, I'm kind of prepping my calipers. Uh, I don't want to get paint up here in the boots or whatever, so I'm going to wrap a plastic bag, <laughs> plastic bag around it. Uh, pretty much going to caliper. The, the, the most you're honestly going to see is going to be like up here, it'll be this portion, and then the outside portion, each side, so, uh, I'll, go, I'll go ahead, and I'm gonna hit the uh, portion on the outside, pretty much, and then from there, I'll go ahead, and then I'll uncover it, so that we can, paint the, the rest of it. I'm not gonna leave it like two-tone or nothing like that. But it, I don't wanna mess it, mess up the calipers where you know paint gets off in the boot or whatever. You know what I'm saying? If that's even like a thing, I mean it's really it's really like a seal. I mean honestly you're not gonna see it. It may be overkill but whatever. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it my way. This ain't the only way to do it. You do it however you want to do it. I'm talking about so I'll do that and uh well I'm gonna finish the brackets because we are gonna be doing a totally different color so I don't wanna have them cross whatever so yeah man alright so there go the <clears throat> there go the brackets um good enough for government work you know what I'm saying I mean we just wanted them silver so I mean we can accomplish on that uh, so we got the Yeah. The, uh, so we got the <clears throat> calipers here. We get ready to spray them, wipe them down with some <clears throat> not wax or grease remover, man. I just use brake clean and stuff like this. Um, but you know, of course, everybody's a critic. Um, so yeah, I. Instead of wrapping it in a bag, man, uh, I just took the shop towel, kind of stuck it in the, <clears throat> stuck it in over the calipers, <clears throat> where the pistons of the caliper protrude, <clears throat> just to you know not necessarily get paint directly on there. And then we got the bleeder screw and the, uh, the bleeder screw and the brake hose screw in there, so we don't get no paint off in the threads. That should be sufficient for that. I'm not really worried about getting paint on there because, yeah. So, I mean, I could go the extra step and take this out and stick something in there. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Uh, as you can see. Like we done put the wet wet on that thing. Like, 
Wait, 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 wait. I don't know how many comes I put on that bitch. I just kept on spraying till the can was gone. Uh, there were some areas that wasn't really filling in the way I wanted them to. And then I just kept on spraying. So. The can is gone now, so this is easily maybe four to six coats, maybe on each one. So definitely gonna have that bling factor. Or at least it looks like it. So. Let me uh, try that. <clears throat> let me let these dry. Get them, put it back together, so you can see how the final assembly kind of looks. All right. So later that night, as you can see, yeah, I mean, for the most part, it kept it off of there. Like I said, I'm not. I really wasn't worried about the inside. The outside is all you're gonna see anyway. And that stuff looks pretty damn good. Looking pretty good. Like I said, I put multiple, multiple, multiple coats on there. So, they look good to me, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. <clears throat> screws back in here ones for the uh for the brake hose yeah. so I'm glad I know in the other video I said I didn't know if I was gonna do it or not but I'm definitely glad I did um, definitely pleased with the outcome. Uh, look pretty damn good. Uh, let me put it, put one back together for you right quick before I head upstairs a little bit and see what it looks like complete. All right, so let's see here. I think it complements nicely. Uh, I didn't take. I didn't take, I didn't put the back and play back on there yet. However, matter of fact, I think this is the one for that one. Let me throw this on right quick and get it for a full picture. All right, so I kind of got it hanging out the side because like I said, that plate takes up that, but yeah, man, that looks good, brother. That looks good. Oh, damn. Uh, damn, look like I messed up the paint a little bit. So yeah, I'm gonna just let these continue to dry. The most of it was accomplished. I might have to touch them back up before I put them on. But uh, you get the vision though. Should be following on the foot. Yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be sick. Yes, yeah, sir. So now we just need the rotors and we'll be good to go. So that y'all stay tuned. And the reason it's sliding down is because it's not on the in a normal setup, there would be a rotor there that would sit back there and they got the brake pads and hold everything together, but we don't, so. You get the vision. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, click the like button, subscribe button, hit the bell. Identify your weaknesses, make the strength of life is all about choice to choose laws, the end, productivity, procrastination, 
Okay, I remember that the hustle don't stop. The grind don't stop. Don't.